Hello, my friends. Welcome to another mini message. Today, Wednesday, we're going to be talking about John chapter 11 from 17 to 27. I am the resurrection and the life. When Jesus arrived at Bethany, he was told that Lazarus had already been in his grave for four days. Bethany was only a few miles down the road from Jerusalem, and many of the people had come to console Martha and Mary in their loss. When Martha got word that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him, but Mary stayed in the house. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if only you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now, I know that God will give you whatever you ask. Jesus told her, your brother will rise again. Yes, Martha said, he will rise when everyone else rises at the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Anyone who believes in me will live, even after dying. Everyone who lives in me and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this, Martha? Yes, Lord, she told him. I have always believed you are the Messiah, the Son of God, the one who has come into the world from God. Amen, amen. As, uh, it's beautiful when you read this part and you've been reading the whole Bible, you understand who Martha is and who Maria is, who Lazarus is, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, this Martha and Maria, you know, remember that we learned about um, Martha and Maria, they have Jesus in the house and Martha was worried about the things and Maria was sitting down at the feet of Jesus, listening from the word of God, right? And, uh, and Jesus, uh, Martha complains and Jesus uh, says, Martha, Martha, you know, you're worry with the things of this world right and but mary she chose the best which is the word of god right listen to to god himself here you know you and i how do we listen to the word of god here in the bible right mm -hmm. but this time how it is right but god touched the life of lazarus the life of martha in the life of mary now this time martha when he sees jesus is coming mm -hmm. after his brother is dead she's running to jesus that's what god wants from you and i right Martha, at first, he, she was distracted with the things of the world, but Jesus touched her and talked to her and said, you know what, don't be worried about that. Come choose like your sister. And now she is running. So Jesus, Jesus gave us an example. Mary stayed, but Martha ran. Right? What a power. Yeah. And then uh, uh, when she gets there and she says, uh, she, he got, uh, Lord, if you will be here, my, my brother wouldn't be dead. We wouldn't be dead. Right? Because he, he, he knows that. The word of God is life. He brings life to people, right? To the ones that love him, the ones that seek him, right? And, uh, but she says, uh, but I know. She believed. Martha, you know, you, you know how from before how she's now. But I know what you, what you said, you asked to God, he will do. What a faith, right? Mm -hmm. Amen. And, and, says, uh, and Jesus says, your brother will uh, uh, resurrect, like right now, right? And then, and then she like, I know, I know he'll be resurrected when, you know, in the future, you know, because she believed in the word of God, like you and I. We believe we're going to be resurrected. We're going to be waking up because we're asleep, right? And, uh, but uh, uh, <clears throat> Jesus says, I am the resurrection and the life. Uh, the ones that can, they believe in me, even though he's dead, he will live. Mm -hmm. Right? You and I. We're, this, all these things are spiritually. It was physically that he died and everything, but for, us, for you and I to understand it spiritually, he says, I am the resurrection and the life, my friends. When we come to the word of God, we're resurrected. We're alive because we have Jesus. He gave us his spirit. We're alive. Right? Spiritual talking in, in carnally because we are here talking, right? Mm -hmm. But the most important is spiritually. We're alive. He's the resurrection and the life, he says. You know, where do you believe? You and I, that believe what everything he says here, you know? We are, we are living spiritually because we are dead. Spirit, we were dead spiritual, you know? And then, of course, we don't die. We go to sleep and then we're going to be waking up by Him, right? And, uh, mm -hmm. and everyone that lives and believes in me, he won't die eternally, right? That we're living right now here and believe in Him, right? When we fall asleep, we're gonna, He's going to wake, uh, wake us up because we're going to live eternally, mm -hmm. right? In His presence. And He said to her, do you believe this? And she said, yes, Lord. I know you are the Christ, the Son of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is very powerful, for, especially for believers, to really take hold of what our hope is, what we have faith in. It is our Lord Jesus Christ. He came, he died, he rose, and that hope is our hope. 
he did it. And we see he even shows us again with Lazarus that he says, your brother will rise. He did it. We get to see. We have proof, evidence. He didn't leave it to chance. We got to, we have eyewitness testimony accounts. Jesus rose from the grave and so he rose Lazarus. He has the power to do it because he is God. And so when he mm -hmm. says, I am the resurrection and the life, that is our hope. That is mm -hmm. our assurance, our security. Mm -hmm that uh, we are not just going through this, this motions of life, uh, hoping that there's something after this. We can know that we mm. have a sure hope in Jesus Christ because he's the resurrection and the life. And so really when you have that perspective, it is awesome that he raised Lazarus, but Lazarus had to die again, mm -hmm. you know, get old and, and die. But he, Jesus gives us what was after when he says everyone who Believe, anyone who believes in me will live even after dying. It's that spiritual healing that is most important because these bodies do die. Lazarus was going to die again, but he never was going to die again after that because he was going to be ushered into the presence of the Lord by that mm -hmm. um, passing away. And that's the same hope that we have, that when we die, our next breath is in heaven with Jesus. And that is really something to lay hold to, to hang on to. Because this world is passing away and so is its desires, what the Bible says. There is nothing here that is going to last. Not one thing. Even our good works and deeds and charities and anything that we try to do, while good stuff, it will all go. And so we just need to really make sure we remind ourselves of the hope that we have, this eternal future, this when we die, we will live and we will be in eternity with Jesus. And that way we never, we don't look to the things of this earth or this government or this world to satisfy us or to keep us or to give us peace or comfort. Uh, we're not looking there. Our, it says, look up, your salvation is near. That's what we're looking. Mm -hmm. This hope that Lazarus had, that Martha had, that Mary had, is the hope we have. Mm -hmm. So we just need to, uh, I don't know, read the Bible. It will, it will come to life and it, and it will enliven and empower you to believe again and more, to have more faith and the promise that only Jesus gives us, life after even dying. Yes. Yes, my friend, let's come to the word of God, the resurrection and the life. Amen. God bless you.